Welcome to this, the final edition of the Central Arkansas Football Report, along with head coach Clint Conk. I'm Justin Acri. The Bears win their final game on senior day over the number nine team in the country, 49-31 coach. And, uh, boy, an explosive first half. It was a lot of fun to watch and a great way to send off your seniors. Well, it certainly was. I uh, want to compliment our players, number one. Uh, I thought we played very, very hard and prepared very well. I thought our, our assistant coaches came up uh, with a great game plan in all three phases. Uh, and executed at a pretty high level, you know, most majority of the game. Uh, but I'm really, I'm really happy for our seniors. I'm really pleased. Uh, done some special things here at the university, uh, both on the field and off the field in the community, and have really uh, passed the torch to a, an extraordinary quality group of juniors, and have uh, continued to, you know, uh, keep the expectations high here at the university. The win on the road last week guaranteed you would not have a losing season. This one guarantees you a winning season, your seventh victory of the year. And again, considering, I know you won't use it as an excuse, but it is certainly a huge factor, you, considering all the, the top line injuries you guys have had to deal with. It's been impressive to watch it. Well, we certainly weren't dealing with uh, lateral ankle sprains or headaches, uh, broken eyelashes and hangnails, uh, you know, broken ankles, broken legs, uh, ACLs and so forth. And, uh, and, and key players, yeah. uh, you know, starters and key significant contributors. But really the leadership of our team we lost in week five and six with, uh, with our All-American quarterback and our NFL prospect at tight end and Chase Dixon. Uh, and, and uh, you know, that void was never really fully, uh, in, in, uh, you know, taken over. But mm -hmm. uh, I thought these kids, uh, given the hand that we've been dealt, competed really, really hard uh, the second half of the season. Um, and boy, today was a great way to send this senior class out uh, on the stripes. There's no doubt about it. All right, well, show you how the Bears did it. It was a wild first half. Highlights coming up in a second. 2013 Central Arkansas Football Report is sponsored by AT&T, Baptist Health, and Crane Automotive. Black Friday savings mean one thing, our best prices of the year at Crane Buick GMC. General Motors has allocated us extra incentives. Every vehicle has been Black Friday priced until the end of the month. No haggling, no stress, just great deals on over 500 new Buick and GMCs. Terrain, Acadia, Yukon, La Crosse, and even the new 2014 Sierra have been specially priced for this event. In minutes, get your Black Friday price online, on the phone, or come see us at the giant Crane Buick GMC exit 127 in Conway. Welcome back. We alluded to the fact that it was senior night here at uh, Central Arkansas. And, Coach, uh, always good to see that ceremony before the game and, you know, kind of a bittersweet deal as you get to see moms and dads and family members on the field and say goodbye to some great seniors. And this year was really a, a special class, really, because of the success and the mark that they left. Well, you know, we had 12 young men that were honored tonight. A 13th, Dominique Brown, was not honored. Uh, he had a uh, ACL uh, surgery early in the year after the Colorado game, but he will get a medical red shirt and, and return next year, so he'll get to be a senior twice. There but, you go. Uh, a special group, certainly, uh, you know, the headliners, Winrick Smothers, All-American quarterback, Justin Love, Marcus Peters. I mean, I don't want to miss anybody. Dominique Allen, um, you know, Kirby O'Meara, Marcus Peters, Josh Jones, uh, just, a, just a, uh, Matt Hornbuckle and Markeith Gaines. I mean, just a quality yeah. group of young men, great families and have left their mark and legacy here at the university. All right, well, let's get into those highlights. And it was great, too, on senior night to see some seniors making plays, Coach. And it was a lot of fun and very prominent uh, as part of the, the highlight package here are some of those seniors, including Peters, who had a couple of interceptions here. And Bears will get the ball first and had an opportunity to return a kick. And fortunately, you guys got to cover a lot of kicks on this night as well. Well, Jatavius Wilson, um, the, the true freshman, We'll talk a lot about this young man, Willie Matthews, junior running back from, uh, from Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, just had a tremendous night uh, catching the ball and running the ball. He ended up with 144 uh, all-purpose yards tonight. Yeah, he was the last man standing or the, the last Willie standing, if you want to get specific, in the running back crew and a guy that had to carry a heavy load the last few weeks. And I'm sure, I don't know if any of you coaches went to, uh, went to Mass and prayed the fact that he wouldn't get hurt, but certainly good to have him healthy. And then 
Keep the drive alive, and that is not Chase Dixon. That is Desmond Lewis with an ode to your fallen tight end coach. And, uh, boy, if you're going to do it, you need to do it big time. And he scored a couple of touchdowns. That's the way you want it done. Yeah, the junior from, uh, uh, from Mesquite, uh, one of his five catches and two touchdowns. Uh, and then the special teams get into the act. Desmond Smith, the redshirt freshman from Bentonville. We've commented on him on how well he's played uh, down the stretch with confidence and his speed. And, and uh, you can see right here on the very first play after the turnover, we come back to Desmond, picks up a couple of blocks, makes a nice cut, and the redshirt freshman's in the end zone. And within three minutes, it's 14 to nothing. Yeah, it was definitely coming out with some haymakers, which is what you wanted to see. The extra point is good. A one-play, 24-yard drive. I know you love those when you can get them. Justin Hurd in the middle. Um, you can see right here, he's going to scrape all the way outside on the quarterback. Uh, double digit tackles for a sixth consecutive game. This is Richardson Sierra, a guy that's really given you fits in the last couple of seasons. Great job right there running him down. That's uh, Marquise Gaines going all the way across the field, and he had a big night as well, one of your seniors. Yeah, one of our seniors, and then Rodarius Winston uh, got to start there. Uh, at the safety position, as one of the young men I failed to mention in the opening segment, but the defense makes a stand, and we force a Sam Houston field goal. Taylor Reed's in the game. Good job with his fundamentals. Good throw to Willie Matthews. Willie shows a little speed around the edge right there. Uh, Taylor was three for three uh, with a touchdown pass, so he had to leave the game with a concussion. And it's, again, fundamentally very sound by the quarterback. Uh, pitches it out there to uh, to Smith again, the redshirt freshman from Bentonville just continues to improve. Three catches for 45 yards, all earned in the game, uh, but very impactful. Desmond Smith it runs with a hot motor coach. That guy is always going a million miles an hour, it seems like. And here's a great throwing catch to Desmond Lewis. I mean, again, it's like pouring gasoline on a fire. You guys had it really going right there. A 10-play, 75-yard drive, 21-3. You know, we knew that Sam Houston had struggled on the road this year. All three of their losses prior to our game were, were on the road. And we just felt like it was very important on a cold night to, uh, you know, to really assert ourselves. And great job on the triple option right here, uh, stringing it out. Uh, forces uh, Sam Houston into a punt. And uh, now they're having to uh, punt with the wind. And uh, right here, Jatavis, nice job catching the ball, but we've got to stick our toe in the ground and get north-south. Ryan Howard, nice throw and catch right there. Clay Murphy, unfortunately, planted into the turf, but a nice job holding on to the football. We come off the fly sweep and uh, uh, protection breaks down and we get a little Brett Favre action right here. <laughs> uh, Ryan Howard uh, flips it out to, uh, to Wilson, the true freshman from Bastrop, and continues to drive. And there's Taylor Reed right here on the quarterback uh, power. And you can see uh, most times 215 pounds when Taylor gets his momentum going, uh, he's gonna make positive plays. And then we come back on the play pass uh, to Willie Matthews, his Willie Matthews, his first touchdown reception of the season. And now it's 28 to three all of a sudden with 11.55 to go in the first half. And I'm sure you're thinking, boy, great to have this lead, but there is way too much time to start getting comfortable against a team like this. Well, you knew they would make a run. They've inserted Brian Bell, uh, who's playing, uh, and Brian wouldn't run the ball very much tonight at all. Uh, great job there by Bobby Watkins, uh, the sophomore from Dallas. Uh, but he is uh, very, very lethal with the with the passing game, but he floats one up right here. And uh, Dar uh, Darius Reed, the redshirt freshman from Houston, and uh, his first career interception here at the University of Central Arkansas. One of uh, six, six turnovers. turnovers. Yeah, we won the turnover battle six to one tonight. Oh, big hit right there. Uh, it's Desmond, Desmond Smith, Smith. Again. Yeah, again, you know, we talk about his confidence and how fast he's playing. and. He's contributing, obviously, on offense and then on the kicking game. And, you know, again, they, uh, you know, Sincere has really hurt us uh, his first couple of years in particular. And we were able to hold him to two carries for four yards on the night. And I uh, kind of ran them out of that uh, Wildcat package. Nice catch there. And you went with Clay Murphy the rest of the way, Coach. And he is getting to, Sully and I were talking about it, getting to that well, great throw and catch right there. Nice job by Ryan Howard. Great catch by Willie Matthews, one of his eight on the night. But, uh, getting into that Jesse Grandy mode where he makes it look effortless on the punt return, which is not an easy thing to do. And then uh, a little jump pass right here. Uh, just got to make sure we value the football. Uh, went with a fake punt, uh, fake field goal right here. Uh, wasn't a great snap, but something Clay ought to be able to handle and kind of let it get into his body. 
Yeah, you guys haven't done that this year as far as the fake field goal goes. He definitely caught us by surprise, and I think he had a, had a couple of guys, certainly well-designed, and a couple of guys loose there. And uh, They do capitalize on it, unfortunately. As you said, there goes a little play action there and a nice throw and catch on the wheel route right there. Well, we saw a great throw and catch to Willie Matthews from Ryan Howard. Bell hits, uh, I guess that's Flanders or, or Hill down the sideline, yeah, yeah. and uh, uh, both were well covered, but you know, great throws by both quarterbacks. Great throw and catch right there. It's Damian Watts up the middle. Love the physical nature, Coach, that he runs after he catches the ball, and he has a couple of huge plays coming up here in a little bit. Yeah, one of his three catches uh, on the night. Uh, we go uh, no backs. Courtney Whitehead, nice catch, the sophomore from, from Athens, Texas. You know, we got a lot of Texas kids on the team, and and uh, it's certainly good to, uh, uh, you know, for recruiting purposes and bragging rights whenever you can beat these Texas schools. It was Justin Love there on the catch, on the on the tackle rather, another senior and yeah, undefeated against Texas this year, which I know, uh, again, the guys who are from Texas definitely pride themselves. And if you go into some living rooms over there, it certainly doesn't hurt. Justin Hurd with a violent hit, and Coach, you guys were out popping on this Saturday. Yeah, we had some big physical hits tonight. And it's two tackles in a row for Hurd, uh, two of his 13 tackles. And once again, uh, he leads the conference in tackles in conference play. And uh, since he came back from his suspension, uh, he's had uh, six straight games of double-digit tackles. Going big ball here, Damian Watts behind the defense, and uh, not necessarily thought of as a, a big ball guy, uh, you know, primarily, but right there gets behind the defense. Great job concentrating and bringing in, and a big touchdown. What a boost, 71 yards, and another one of those one-play drives, second one of the night, 35-10 with the extra point. You can see right here, we're right at the end of the half, and uh, just trying to contain them. Keep him out of the end zone. We force Bell to scramble. Uh, again, uh, can't say enough good things about, about Brian Bell and the career he's had. But again, you know, didn't take a lot of reps in practice, looked a little rusty, and Marcus Peters makes him pay. I love the fact that he fights off Flanders there and into the end zone to make the score stand up. 42 to 10 with that score right there, Coach, and uh, after the extra point. Well, what a great way to finish off the first half. 42-10, Bears very much in control, and as we will see, this is a team that does not give up very easily. They were playing for a potential to go to the postseason, and uh, they played very desperate in the second half. Well, third place was on the line, um, you know, and uh, you know, I'm appealing to the committee, I guess, but uh, if you're going to take a third place team in a power conference, uh, I think we're playing pretty good football right now, but um, very happy how we played in the first half. Uh, we played very physical, made big plays, tackled well. And certainly, uh, but knowing in the back of your mind that with the senior leadership they had there at, at Sam Houston, that championship pedigree, uh, that they would make a run. No doubt about it. Well, I will defy anybody on the committee to find a more deserving seven-win team in the country than the Bears after the year they've been through in that big win tonight. We'll talk, uh, talk more about the second half coming up in just a moment. This is my home. And here's my hot water heater, located right above my living room. And here's the mess it made when it leaked really leaked. Kind of throws off the ambiance, don't you think? Well, I stayed calm and called the experts at All Clean Restoration, so here it is. My living room before the water damage and my living room after. Or as I like to think, my living room before All Clean, my living room after All Clean. All Clean Restoration, proudly serving all of Arkansas. Zaxby's, indescribably good. Second half now, Bears with a 42-10 lead and kicking off here to Sam Houston, a team that I'm sure in the locker room the conversation was, we've got to go get this one. Sincere trouble with that, and then real big trouble with Justin Hurd after fumbling the return, paid the price. But uh, again, you saw a team coach, no surprise. Uh, Two-time national runner-up coming out playing with a lot of pride. Good job of the defense, though, forcing a punt on their first possession. Yeah, good job there by, by Murphy, uh, securing the, the fair catch. And yeah, we didn't get off to a very clean start right here. Um, nice job on the check down, uh, but uh, three and out, forced the Bears to punt. Come with pressure. Junior John Harrison had a 
one of his more consistent nights punting the football. That was a short punt there with the win. Uh, you know, we, we played uh, nickel the entire night. Winfrey started at the, at, the, uh, at the nickel position, and I thought he did a very good job. And, you know, we're probably looking at, at uh, going more to a 4-2-5. You can see my arms up in the air right there. I thought several times our defensive ends were, uh, were held and their jerseys pulled. But, again, they're showing the heart of a champion right here, driving the ball right down the field. And they do fight their way into the end zone, or so the official says. On that one, that was a very close play right there at the goal line. Seven play, 64 yard drive, and it's 42 to 17. And again, just having a little trouble getting going offensively. Don't even get a chance to get it back here the next couple of times. Onside kick is successful. Ball bouncing around there. A couple of guys had a shot at it, couldn't make the play on it, and uh, Sam Houston will get it right around midfield. And we force Sam Houston into a uh, to another punting situation. Another, again, very, very nice job by Murphy handling the ball. Nice run up the middle here by Willie Matthews, spinning around and getting positive yardage and a first down. Um, come back here on the, on the back screen. Uh, Willie just didn't get out clean. I thought we had it blocked well, but uh, again, two series, two punts, and um, again, really, really good coverage right there by, by Justin Love, the, the senior from West Memphis, Arkansas. And then this is really good to see right here, Terrence Partee, Bailey McIver, and uh, Markeith Gaines. And once again, right there, Dylan Winfrey, good tackle. And Sam's down in the, in the red area. We come with pressure, well defended by Josh Jones, the senior from Shreveport, playing his last game uh, here at UCA. And then they go uh, on a corner route, well defended uh, right here this time. Good job by Marvin uh, Mitchell. Good job by Ryan avoiding the blitz. Well, you got to be careful there when you're throwing the ball high over the middle. But again, three drives, three three and outs. They come with big pressure. Their young man mishandles uh, the ball, and this one rolls for 69 yards. I think the third longest punt in Central Arkansas football history. Big hit, another one over the middle there. And uh, yeah, sitting back in the nickel coach and coming up, you definitely had some guys that were. We're out to lay some licks, and here's another huge hit right there. I think that was Josh Jones. No, it's oh, actually that's, uh, Rodarius, Rodarius Winston. Winston. Yep. yep, Rodarius Winston. Yeah. Bell is very, very good at getting the ball out of his hands right here. They quick snap us. We don't get off the hash. We don't get anything on the outside receiver. And boy, just like that, I think they've scored uh, uh, 14 points. Yeah, actually, um, and they're going back on the onside kick right here. That was the one where he had a shot at it. Yeah, I thought Jacoby Walker, the junior, uh, from Houston, Texas, was right in great position right there, just kind of got in between his arms and legs. But again, uh, we give him a short field. And uh, you know, now that now it's starting to get a little bit uh, uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah, we're in the fourth quarter now here, and Bell, all kinds of time, rolling out. Loose contain, he runs it. And again, that's a play where he might turn it up in the past, but with that injury, trying to avoid the contact, gets out of bounds, a positive play for them, though. And then a nice throw and catch right here, a touchdown to Williams, 42-31. So if it was a little uh, interesting a moment ago, it's very interesting now, 21 unanswered. Get a couple of first downs, establish some continuity, and I thought this was a big play right here by Ryan Howard. Uh, this is another big catch right here to Courtney Wrighthead. You can see how strong Courtney is. Mm -hmm. Nice run by Willie Matthews, though, coming back. Double-digit run right here, 10, 11 yards. Get you back into third and manageable. Unfortunately, can't pick up the first down. Well, the good news is we didn't uh, give up any more yards and it kept the clock running. And their punt returner made a mistake right here and uh, hits him in the back. Another special teams turnover deep in the Sam Houston territory. Good job by Ryan going through his progression. Yeah, back to Desmond Lewis there. Yep, Desmond gets it down close. And then Willie Matthews had a touchdown reception early in the game. Now he has a touchdown run. And a big game for, for the junior from Memphis. Yeah, 49-31 now after the Eddie Camara extra point. A four-play, 14-yard drive. Again, a few of those short drives or one-play drives or two-play drives. I mean, boy, those are good to get. And uh, defense will make it stand up. No more points given up the rest of the night. So I guess they made you sweat it out long enough, Coach. Well, turnovers are such a critical part. And here's another one right here. Marcus Peters, his second interception for the senior uh, from Dangerfield, Texas. And again, uh, uh, these kids went, uh, what did we say, 14, 15, and 2 on the stripes. Right, 15 and 2. Yep, over the last 15 and 2 over the last three years. And uh, it was good to see so many seniors get in the action. Once again, though, a junior that's uh, 
really set the stage for himself moving into his senior year, Willie Matthews, is physical. But a lot of that credit goes to the offensive line, too. And uh, here's a senior that uh, made a mistake right there, Kirby O'Meara, our long snapper. The only time you ever hear your name mentioned is when you do something not so good. Kirby got a 15-yard penalty, but another senior backs it up. Yeah, that was a great play right there. Dylan Winfrey getting in, poking the ball away, lands right in the hands of Justin Hurd. And how about that catch right there? Damian Watson, the huge night. One-handed grab downfield and a huge gain put him over 100 yards on the evening. Jatavius Wilson coming back on the speed sweep there. Not a whole lot of room, but... Well, I think this is the uh, only drive the in the red play. area that we didn't, uh, we didn't score. And, you know, I thought about kicking a field goal, but, uh, you know, wanted to make Sam Houston have to go a long, long way, and, and we did that. Incomplete pass, and of course they're in desperation mode at this point. There's Bell again, another huge hit. Guys coming up from that uh, defensive backfield. You have safety Bobby Watkins, the third. Good job, Bobby. Almost get another turnover right here, oh, Marvin, Marvin Mitchell. Yep, the junior from, from Carrollton, Georgia. And, uh, you know, we did give up some throws in the middle of the football field and, uh, you know, too many pass yards uh, tonight. But, uh, again, we made them very one-dimensional. And a big pass breakup right there by, by senior Justin Love. And then uh, basically the football game is going to end right here. Yeah, they uh, trying a little razzle-dazzle, and Jonathan Woodard on top of it. I guess he doesn't get credit for the turnover there, but that was the last play of the game. And 49-31, the, the final there, Coach. And, uh, boy, great way to send out the seniors, as we mentioned. And Well, it's a top-10 win. Yeah, that's you right. Know, put another skin on the wall, and I guess uh, go back to uh, our game with Sam Houston last year when I think they were ranked second or third in the nation, and they came to Conway, and we were able to beat them. So, uh, uh, again, just a lot of positives that come out of the game. but. But I will say this, it's a little bittersweet. Uh, seven wins at a lot of programs uh, would, be a, would be a good year. And certainly it's a solid year for us given all the circumstances we've had to deal with. Uh, but with that said, you know, our expectations to compete for championships and at the national level, and we fell short of that. Uh, I like the way we finished up. I like all the experience that the young kids got that, uh, you know, replaced some of our veterans that went out. Um, feel good about sending our seniors out, but we also know that uh, you know, uh, next year that we're going to continue to have high expectations about how we want to play and where we want to, you know, what we want to be doing in December and January. Yeah, well, we definitely want to be playing in the postseason. That's a lot That's of fun right. without a doubt. Let's go back to our play of the game before we take this next time out. And then we go back to that play before the end of the half, Coach. And speaking of seniors, it was Marcus Peters, one of his two interceptions. And this one he made count and would not be denied at the goal line by Tim Flanders, who had a hand on him. He just kind of stiff-armed his way to the end zone. Yeah, 54-yard interception. Again, one of his two, as you mentioned, uh, for a touchdown. And really, that uh, gave us a tremendous amount of momentum going into halftime. And again, that's his second pick six of his career. And uh, so happy for Marcus. And uh, I think we were the only Division I school that offered him a scholarship. And he has been a solid football player for us and really turned out to be a really good press corner. So a uh, great way for him to end up. Uh, on senior night. All right, we'll take a look at our players of the game coming up in just a moment. Front row? Oh. Okay, I'm jealous. AT&T introduces the Nokia Lumia 1020. Oh, Capture every detail with brilliant zoom at 41 megapixels. Get it only from AT&T with no down payment. Welcome back. Uh, so many highlights. We don't have a whole lot of time here, Coach, but time to look at our players of the game. And on offense, we're actually going to we're going to split it between a couple of guys who had big games. Yeah, Willie Matthews uh, had 31 touches for a total of 144 yards, 89 of those on the ground, 55 receiving yards, and a touchdown, both catching uh, the football and, and and rushing. So very proud of Willie. And then of course, Damian Watts, uh, the junior from Texcana, had three receptions for 127 yards and a touchdown and uh, may have been one of our most consistent receivers uh, the entire season. Yeah, engine engine number nine. I like the way he does it. I'm looking forward to seeing him next year as well. On defense, Coach, we're going to go uh, with a guy that has, you know, been getting it done for you for a while. 
Well, you know, Justin Hurd, uh, the fifth-year senior from, from Woodland, uh, Alabama, again, uh, 13 tackles, tackle for loss, uh, played sideline to sideline. We certainly missed him right there for those three games that he was out. Uh, but, uh, again, leads the conference in tackles uh, through conference play. And uh, he's going to have a chance to play at the next level. I really believe that. And uh, I'm very happy for, uh, for Justin and, and all those seniors tonight. Well, Coach, um, most likely, unless something uh, interesting happens, and here's, here, we'll keep our fingers crossed, but uh, this will be the final game of the season. And uh, certainly a very difficult season, I guess, dealing with injuries, emotional season. But, again, the way your team responded under adversity and the young guys stepped up, uh, we've talked about it before. You talked about program wins this year oh, sure. and, and the strength of the program, the depth of the program. Yeah. Obviously, you've, you've built something special here in Conway. Well, I appreciate that. And, and I want to credit the, uh, our coaching staff because, you know, and, and our players because this team could have fallen apart mm -hmm. when you lose the heart and soul of your team, which was Wenrick Smothers, uh, you know, all-conference player of the year, all-American quarterback, and Chase Dixon, who was, you know, playing as, as well as anybody in the country at, uh, at the tight end position. So. That was, that was the leadership. In addition to great players, that was the leadership. And this team could have fallen apart. We didn't do that. We went on the road, won some tough games. We had a, we had a loss or two in there. Um, but guys elevated their level of play. They took advantage of the opportunities. Ryan Howard, Taylor Reed, Willie Matthews, on and on and on. With that said, we return like 17 starters next year, 50-something lettermen. Um, the schedule gets pretty tough next year. You know, we got to open up at Texas Tech and go to Montana State. But... You know, we'll have a couple of FCS uh, teams at home, Missouri State, and UT Martin, and, of course, a conference schedule. But uh, uh, excited about the future. Uh, again, bittersweet because uh, I think both programs, Sam Houston and, and Central Arkansas, uh, you know, thought we'd both make a run at the national championship. just didn't work out. So now we'll, we'll go recruiting. We'll get our kids help, healed up and work on player development and academics and uh, go bring some other fine – football players to come in here and replace this great senior class. I'm sure we only have just a few seconds left, but certainly want to thank everybody for making the show possible. And, uh, you know, I've already talked to the athletic director and the folks around the, the broadcast. It's certainly been a fun season as well as it always is. Well, Katie Davis, our producer, she does a wonderful job and her team. And then, uh, of course, you, Justin, uh, I enjoy working with you both on the radio side and the TV side. Uh, and then also a shout out to, to all of our sponsors uh, uh, that make this show possible. Uh, Dr. Brad Teague, uh, my boss, our director of athletics. Uh, Steve Sullivan, Monty Rowell uh, on the uh, on the broadcast team. A lot of people goes in, uh, you know, goes into uh, putting together TV shows, radio shows, and and, and the production for you know for a football game. And uh, very proud of what we're doing. Um, energized. I wish we had more to play, but yeah. unfortunately we can't. But again, thank you. This was what seven years now, eight years that we've been yeah. together and won a lot of football games. So. Uh, uh, maybe maybe a little premature the way we finished it, but uh, very happy with the with the big win tonight. Coach, congratulations. Thanks, Justin. Hey, ready for 2014. Yes, sir. And we hope you'll be back with us next year for the first one on 2014, the Central Arkansas Football Report. We'll see you then. If you're coming to Conway for football, get ready to put your game face on. Shopping, dining, accommodations, and more. Come for football. Stay to play. Learn more at ConwayArkansas.org. Arkansans rank Baptist Health first for overall quality. You've named us the leader for women's health, for orthopedics, for heart, for rehabilitation, and for state-of-the-art technology. And with over 175 access points across the state, we can provide the highest level of care close to you. The most preferred nurses, the most trusted doctors, the best overall reputation. Baptist Health, all our best.